I may have mentioned once or maybe 15 times that I've uh, recently flown back from Australia. <laughs> and it's, um, I spent 14 hours on a plane, and then the plane finally took off. And <laughs> yeah, the flight to Australia is 14 hours, which is a long, long time. And that is enough time, really, to watch nine movies or one episode of Celebrity Apprentice. <laughs> Why is it that time flies except when you're actually flying? I don't know why that is. I flew Qantas, uh, which really I can't say enough nice things about them. They did so many special things for me. Uh, they had a chef make a special vegan menu for me on the plane. The Qantas people put my name on everything. On, uh, I took pictures so you'd believe me. On the headrest, they had my name on the headrest. <laughs> they had my name on the pillows. Every pillow had my name on it. The napkins had my name on it. My mother stole all this stuff. And they put my name on the outside of the plane when we got off my mother and forth. And I it was really, I felt like I owned the plane, so I kept it. I have that. It's in my front yard right now. But it's really nice. When you fly overseas, uh, the first class seats are huge. They're the size of like office cubicles. In fact, mine came with an employer, her name was uh, Janice. And she did my bookkeeping while she was in there. Here's one of their first class seats. It's, it's huge, and it swivels around, and it turns into a bed. So when you're ready to sleep, you call the flight attendant. They make the bed for you. They give you pajamas. I was in my pajamas. <laughs> That's how I sleep. It's good for your back, your chiropractor says. Anyway, um, the one thing that made it tough was the countdown clock that they put next to your head so you can keep track of how much longer. And uh, so it's discouraging, because the clock will say, like, there's 10 hours left. And so you take a nap. And you do a crossword puzzle, and you brush your teeth, and you do your income taxes, and then you take up another nap. And then you look at the clock, and I swear it says 9 hours and 58 minutes. <laughs> so I don't know how many people have long flights ahead of you. I thought I would give you some uh, tips, some very, very important things to remember. First of all, if you can, fly Qantas, because they're amazing. It's an amazing airline. Second, you know those special pillows, the travel pillows that they make for your neck? Don't bring those. You look ridiculous. <laughs> Third, bring something to keep yourself entertained. I recommend my book, Seriously, I'm Kidding. It's now available in paperback. Um, it's a good read. Easy, light, fun. Also, because you're at a high altitude, make sure you drink plenty, lots and lots. I recommend tequila, because it's pure. <laughs> it's clean. And finally, as soon as you get off the plane, it's very important. You've been sitting for so long. You want your circulation to move around, so dance immediately. <laughs>